This program deals with extreme weight loss and should only be attempted if you've tried everything else, are sick of lugging around excess flab, and have consulted a physician. Does your extra flab make you feel drab? My last 10 pounds are my thighs and my love handles. My ass. My badass 10 pounds come from here, it's come from here, it's come from the booty right here. Ananda has lost over 100 pounds on her own, but now has hit a plateau. I dream of that six pack. I want it. I can see it. You're going to have to fight for these pounds. This sucks. Ananda wants to drop her last few pounds before she MCs a charity fashion show. We're going to push her right over that plateau. I'm working this hard to get to where I know I deserve to be. Bro, bro. But can this busy girl break through her plateau and go all the way? You heard me. I just feel like crying right now. In the last 10 pounds boot camp. She thought she was in better shape than that. I've heard that before. <laughs> My heaviest weight was 305 pounds. When I look at myself, I feel like it's a painful part of me. That's another picture of me when I'm nice and large. I looked at myself one day and was like, Ananda, get yourself together. I call this the crash point in my life. The first like 80 pounds just kind of dropped off within the first year. And then it was sort of a slow progression, sort of 20 pounds here and then, you know, 10 pounds here kind of thing. And I've been able to keep this weight without gaining any weight, but I plateaued. I feel like I don't have the knowledge in the nutrition or necessarily the working out background um, to lose that last bit of weight. Can I get the chicken burrito on whole wheat? I think I eat too many carbohydrates and I have a portion control issue. I work out three to four days a week and I work at a gym so it's very convenient for me to just shower and I'm never late. <laughs> The event that um, I'm going to at the end of all this is a charity function. It's a black tie event. I'm going to be part emceeing the night. So I want to have that dress. I want to have those legs, that bubble butt. <laughs> I really want to look good, you know? I love being in front of crowds, and being at the top of your game is so badass. I'm Tommy Euro, a pro football player turned personal trainer. And this is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. Spartacus, how can I help you? Ananda, how you doing today? Hang up the phone, come on the other side. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Bust, 39 inches. Oh, God. 39. Finger in your belly button. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this like right here. Waist, 35. 35 inch waist. Oh Let's feet together. Hips. Don't do that. <laughs> 45. You happy with those numbers? Yeah. Let's get you up on the scale. Weight, 190 pounds. You want to change those numbers? I do want to change those numbers. How hard are you willing to work? Hard. Welcome to our world. We'll be helping Ananda drop inches from all over and lose those last stubborn pounds. Let's see how Ananda got from 300 pounds to under 200 pounds. Ananda is a healthy eater. Vegetables, more fruits, veggies. So far, so good. Wow, another whole drawer of vegetables. I did find some sushi in her fridge. This is deep fried tempura. Deep fried means fat. A two liter of pop, first of all, way too much. Second of all, there is zero nutritional value in here. Let's see what's in her pantry. Right away, I could tell she is eating way too many carbs. All right, white pasta, white rice. This is all adding to her carboholic attitude and behavior, and I'm gonna help her refine it. Otherwise, she's doing great. Hello, Ananda. Hello, Tommy. You're coming from a far place. How much weight have you lost in the last couple of years? 115 pounds. Well, I wanna keep you on track. Thank you. Now, you got to that weight by not exercising, lots of carbs, doing the wrong things. Before we go forward, we need to flash back. I don't even like looking at pictures of myself. 
no one will ever. I mean, there's many people out there who understand, but it's so tough to watch and I didn't think it would be. But we're not gonna go there again, are we? No, we're not. Amanda, we need to find you a target outfit. Mm -hmm. We've got that charity event coming up. We need something smoking hot. Mm -hmm. I want you to show off that physique. All right. Happy shopping. Thank you. Wow, it's a live Christmas tree. Oh! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? In that camo? I don't know who you think he is. Jingle bells, jingle bells. No. Just no. Now that's a charity dress. Medium. We're gonna get a small. Are you crazy? Tone you up through the arms. Got a lot of extra skin hanging there. They will get smaller. We gotta flatten that stomach, tone up the legs a little bit. You'll be good to go. You down? I'm down. All right, let's get started. I was kind of shocked that he wanted to take me down another size, but you know what? I got my eye on the prize, and we're gonna get it done. We're gonna push her right over that plateau. I just feel like dying right now. I don't care how you finish, but you finish. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Give me the last 10 pounds. Let's get you up on the scale. Ananda entered boot camp eager to drop weight and in inches before she MCs at a big charity gala. Welcome to our world. After seeing a flashback of where she used to be. So tough to watch and I didn't think it would be. We're just hoping she's motivated enough to go the distance. Now that's a charity dress. We're gonna get a small. Are you crazy? Ananda, welcome to the drill test. You're gonna be testing your strength and your cardio and your will. Come on, let's go. We have kettlebell 180 starting a squat. She wants to break that plateau. Yeah. She's going to have to work hard. Great one for your core, great one for your legs. This last 10 pounds, I just got my first realization how hard it's going to be. You heard me. Come on, Ananda. I said you got to stay in that squat. No, that was hard. I haven't pushed myself that hard in a long time. How you feeling, Ananda? <sighs> what does that mean? When you have somebody in your ear like that telling you how fast and how hard you have to go, there's nothing like it. This is the beginning. It lets me know what we have to work on over the next four weeks. And uh, she's going to have to bring her A game every day. I thought it was badass, but this is definitely a moment to, to stop and think. Where's my push up? We're going to push her right over that plateau. I'm working from this way forward, and I, I can't wait to see where I'll be at the end of it all. You're going to have to fight for these pounds. I just feel like crying right now. And I'm going to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. <laughs> I'm going for the best I can be. You know, I went through all my childhood and teenage years being someone who I really wished I wasn't. I know you're a fighter. I'm working this hard to get to where I know I deserve to be, and that's the emotional part. Crawl, crawl, crawl. I don't care how you finish, but you finish. It's never really over. You know, this will be a battle for the rest of my life, and but I'm willing to do it. Ananda, you've completed the drill test. The will was there, but she just didn't have it in her. See this feeling you have right now? Get ready for it for the next four weeks. All right. You wanted to break that plateau? Yes. Have a good day. Thank you. Now, you were over 300 pounds. I was. And now you're under 200. Amazing. You're doing a lot of the right things. Thank you. OK, and that's what I'm going to focus on here today, what you're doing right and how we can tweak it and adjust it and just make it a little bit better so that you can break through this plateau. Awesome. First off, you love your black bean burrito. Did you know that that black bean burrito is 900 calories? No, I didn't. 900 calories is about half of your daily intake in calories. Not good. This black bean quesadilla, about 400 calories. Totally surprised to see that the quesadilla was big and you know it looks just as good. We still have the cheese, but it's gonna be the light mozzarella cheese. Quarter cup of that. We're gonna go with the black beans. I mean, that quesadilla looked awesome. It looked flavorful, it looked bright. A traditional plate of spaghetti, 220 calories, and that's just in the pasta. Wow, okay. Okay, that's not counting the goat cheese and the tomatoes. The spaghetti squash pasta, 42 calories. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a difference of 178 calories just in the pasta. That's amazing. The last one here, one of your very favorites, stew chicken. Oh, it's so good. The thing that we want to change up here is the rice. One cup, 242 calories. We're going to exchange the white rice for cauliflower rice. Ooh. Guess how many calories? How many? 30. Ooh, that's a big difference. Is this something that you think that you can do? I do. I think it looks pretty achievable. I think it would be a, a good switch up. This little bit of a difference is going to be the thing that's going to break through that plateau. Welcome to one day in the life of your new food. What do you think? 
I'm glad to see some bright colors, some bigger portions. The main thing that we're doing is we're just kind of reorganizing how you're eating. So let's look at this one meal at a time. For breakfast, you're gonna be eating two tablespoons of the natural peanut butter, five whole grain crackers, half a grapefruit, and one cup of soy milk. For snack, you're gonna be having one serving size of fat-free soy yogurt and one banana packed full of potassium and you're getting your protein and your yogurt. For lunch, you're gonna have two ounces of curried chicken, one cup of brown rice and one cup of vegetables. For snack, you're gonna have one cup of red peppers and unlimited green vegetables, a third cup of hummus. So that's where you get your protein. Awesome, I love hummus. Okay, for dinner, you're gonna start by placing half of your plate full of vegetables. Your protein is coming from a very lean source. This is four ounces of halibut. Okay. Delicious and half cup of yams. I love halibut and yams are good too, so I'm happy about that. Excellent. I think that your attitude is the thing that's gonna get you through this and just being up for the challenge and looking at it in a positive light is what's gonna get you through. I think I will too. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello, Ananda. Welcome to your fitness plan. You have a benefit to go to, correct? Correct. So we need to melt away some inches and pounds. Lots of them. Well, let's work for it. Come on. We're doing a step back lunge. All the weight's gonna end up on your front heel. So you're gonna step back, hands come up, down. She has lost a lot of weight over the last few years. She has hit that plateau, so I wanna push her right over the edge. I'm ready. You ready? Okay. Didn't you mention that at the drill test too? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. By getting Ananda to move consistently throughout the workout, she's keeping her heart rate high. Lots of lower body exercises, lots of high knee running. Bring that weight to your hip. I like a challenge, I like pushing myself. Three more, Come on. So I might not be able to do that on my own, but. High knee running again. Go on. She's got to last four weeks, so it's gonna be a, a gradual progression. You're always gonna be pushing off of this leg. Gonna bring in their resistance training, some weights, so she can lift her own body weight. Big jump, little jump. Good. Those jumps, man. Good. Those are tough. <laughs> no, now you're doing a big jump. You want to go, but your whole body's burning. Big jump. She's got to stick in there. She's got to last four weeks, and she definitely has to stick to her meal plan. The hardest part is just going to keep myself motivated, be accountable for myself. You want to shine in that target outfit, right? Oh, yeah. By just Good. focusing on that end goal. If it takes the jumps, if it takes the running on the spot, anything it takes, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm willing. Good. I'm badass. You're going to use some of these exercises when you're by yourself? You're gonna use some of them when you're with me. Stay positive. That was tough, but... Good work. You know what, to be honest, it was actually fun. Now let's get you up on the scale. Wait. Give me the last 10 pounds. I'm kind of scared that maybe I'm not gonna break that plateau or I'm gonna start plateauing again. Like, how long is this gonna work for? Am I gonna lose more weight? What's gonna happen? Hello, Miss Ananda. Hello. Are you ready for your midpoint check-in? I sure am. Stand right here, please. Hands up. Bust. 37 inches. Down two inches. No comment? Not bad. Not bad. Finger in your belly button. Waist. 33. You've lost two inches. OK. Feet together. Hips, 43. Down two inches off your hips. Okay. <laughs> You're all happy, huh? Well, yeah. You should be. Up on the scale. Weight, 181 pounds. Yeah, you've lost nine pounds. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. Nine pounds, six inches, two weeks. All right, well, let's see how that dress looks on you. Okay. It's helped me be accountable for myself and pushing myself and having the event at the end of the month and wanting to be badass in that dress is just, it, you know, it's making me fight for it. Looking good. Nine pounds definitely helped, but we want more. So we're gonna obviously work on more toning through the arms. Try and flatten that stomach out a little bit more. Try to lose a bit through your legs. Nice and toned. Go get changed. We have some work to do. Ananda, welcome to your butt kick. It's not for being bad. You wanted to push yourself? Consider me the plateau buster. Come with me. There you go. Up. Swing up, swing up, swing up. 
There you go. My number one rule for a butt kick. <laughs> Drop it. Push yourself okay. beyond your comfort zone. Come up slow, slow. I put Ananda through a mini circuit. Breathe. Had her jumping over mini hurdles with a kettlebell. Made her do some leg drops. Come up slow. If you want it, work for it. It's not going to come easy. Come up slow. The hardest part, honestly, was those push-ups with the ball. Come on, Ananda. Get it down, get it down, get it down, get it down. Definitely harder than I figured it would be. Come on, it's breaking plateaus. Think of that black dress. I tried to push myself as much as I knew to my best of my knowledge, on, on, but this is a whole different type of learning, whole different type of sweat. She wants this bad. She wanted to break her plateau. Think of the benefit. She wants great results. You want to go boom pow, right? I'm going to push her there, and I'm going to make sure she gets where she needs to be. This is a great one for your glute medius. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And then we finished off with the stairs. Pow. Yeah, you got to work really hard. You got to drive your arms. You got to pump your legs. Get those knees up. Get them up, get them up, get them up, get them up, get them up. I tell you, he's not light. Drive, 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 drive. So pulling his weight plus my own, that was definitely tough. Good work, Ananda. You've officially had your butt kicked. Get used to this feeling. This is what we got to do to break plateaus. That was intense. That was crazy. That better be plateau break. That was hard. Today, we're going to be going five kilometers. I hate running in the woods. Two stairs at a time, Ananda. This sucks. Give me the last 10 pounds. Ananda has been working hard to look badass in a sexy black dress for a charity gala. You gotta work a little bit harder. After losing more than 100 pounds before joining boot camp on the scale, she had continued success at the two-week weigh-in. You've lost nine pounds. To keep her motivated, I gave her a plateau-busting butt kick. Well, this is a whole different type of sweat. Hello, Ananda. Hello, Tommy. Welcome to your final challenge. We're gonna be going five kilometers today. I hate running in the woods. It's cold, it's wet, couldn't ask for a nicer day. The city girl at heart Correct. and me and nature do not mix. Now, you've been having a battle with fat for quite a while now. So today, I brought 10 pounds of fat for you in the form of oh lard. Oh, my god. Turn around. It's soaking wet. Got your game face on? It smells like trees and dirt. <sighs> Let's go. And um, yeah, no thanks. I took Ananda on an interval run simply to challenge her. Watch your footing, it's slippery. Twist, turns, a lot of slippery terrain, soggy, she's miserable. Two stairs at a time, Ananda. This sucks. How's that backpack feel? That sucks too. We did a lot of interval style training during the last four weeks, but getting her outside on wet terrain, a lot of hills, a lot of stairs, makes it a lot tougher, and that's what she needs. I don't like running on rocks, on wet wood, on dirt, puddles, over logs, everything. It's like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, Ananda, drive those knees, drive those knees. She's been busting her ass. Um, she's determined to keep pushing forward, and that's great. She's got a fighter's attitude, and it's gonna carry her a long, long way. Two words to describe Ananda. She's a competitor, and she's very, very feisty. Two words to describe Tommy Europe is Jack Ass. Congratulations. You've completed your final challenge. How's that fat feel on your back? <laughs> I want to get it off. <laughs> oh. This represents your struggle. Not only for the last four weeks, last few years. So we work this hard. Let's enjoy the scenery. All right. All right? All right. That's it. That's it for me. I'm going forward from here. So I'll see you at the final win. All right. Hello, Ananda. Hello, Tommy. This is it, your final win. I know. Let's calm those nerves. Stand right here. Okay. Hands up. Bust. 37 inches. Down two inches. Finger in your belly button. Waist, 32. You've lost three inches off your waist. Nice, nice. Feet together. Hips, 42. You've lost three inches. Nice work. 37, 32, 42. How many inches? That's eight in total. All right. Nice. You worked hard for those eight inches, didn't you? I sure did. All right. Let's get you up on the scale. After four weeks, Ananda, your weight. I don't think she wants it yet. I'm just really nervous. Oh, yeah? 170 
Six pounds. Are you serious? <laughs> you lost 14 pounds. Oh Mia my hug. gosh. OK, that I wanted to know. 14 pounds, eight inches. OK, I can deal with that. And you can get more, you know. Oh, for sure. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's see you in that Target outfit. Let's do it. Feels so great, because to be honest, the last time I felt that or was that way, I was probably in like grade school. Oh my goodness, you look spectacular. Thank you. Uh... You look great. This fits perfectly. How does it feel? It feels way better than the first time. A couple of slow turns, it looks great. Thank you. And you worked extremely hard for it. 14 pounds, eight inches in four weeks is quite the accomplishment. Congratulations, have a great time. Thank you. Ananda pushed past her plateau and lost 14 pounds and eight inches. She looks beautiful and badass in her slinky dress and will be wowing everyone at the charity gala. Being in this dress totally symbolizes success. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. The next level for me is just not to stop. I don't know what my body's potential is, but I'm waiting and I'm ready to see it. So I have my eye on the prize and I'm not stopping.